I definitely think that the Zero Balance set is able to compete with the Spike Ball Pro set. Okay, so here we have the actual Zero Balance set. Just looking at the box on the back, it has just instructions on how to play around that. And then we got some people playing on the front here. Nice. So let's go ahead and break this open and see what we got in here. That's just got the regular pull tabs. So it looks like it comes in this bag here. And let's see. We got our needle pump in there. Throw that over there. Bruh. All right, so we got our needle pump right here. All right, and let's break out these rims. Nice rims. Kind of remind me of a spike ball pro set. They're very similar. They're about the same size and thickness, and then it looks like they have a similar locking mechanism as the spike ball pro set. So we'll set them. We've got five rims. Ooh, that's nice. Here's the ball. So the ball has a nice texture on it. Kind of like the Spike Ball Pro Ball. These balls are nice. Okay, and then it actually comes with a pump. Like a push pump instead of one of those um, ball squeeze pumps. The balls are pretty well inflated as it, as it came though. I don't think they need any air. All right, so here's a first look at the legs. And then it's just a standard cinch sack here. All right, so we got a net. We have our five legs here. And then it looks like we got some rubber grip tape. I guess this goes on the bottom of the legs. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and then we'll talk about what I think. All right, so I got the net all set up. What the dog doing? Some first reactions. I'm actually really impressed with how high quality this is. So I did have to put the grip tape on the bottoms of the legs um, myself, but they're a lot, they cover the whole bottom of the leg. And shake, I, shake, shake. I think that, I think that helps with the sturdiness and sliding on it. Another thing is I was messing with the balls and I have my Duncan set right here. But on just some quick things I noticed, these seem to be made of a little bit of a thicker material. Mm. And then I think the dimples are a little bit more, um, are protruding just a little bit more on these balls, on the zero balance balls. They seem to be about the same weight, which, and then uh, the net material on this. So I also have my Duncan set right here, like I said. My Duncan set. So just comparing the nets right here. Um, this net on the zero bound set, it's actually woven a little bit thicker, it looks like. Like I said, I really like these balls. I don't know what it is about them. They seem to be just a little bit more sturdier, which I think that might help a little bit with changing temperatures because I know with spike ball balls, when it gets cold, you know, they shrink. And then when it heats up, they expand a lot. I wonder if the thicker material would help out with that a little bit. Um, and it's just standard setup, like you would set up a regular spike ball net. But so far, I'm really impressed, especially with the price range. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play some rallies on this thing. And I'll give you some more thoughts here in a second.
so we just got done playing some pickup on the zero bound set. What were our thoughts? Well, first I think it comes in at a really awesome price. Zero bound set is 35 euros right now on their website, which is linked in the description below. But that's in comparison to the $109 price point range of a spike ball pro set. 35 euros is about $41.35 US. So I think that's an amazing price for the product you're getting. Um, so comparing it to a spike ball pro set, the ball is a little bit thicker on the zero bounds, like we said, and it's also a little bit more textured. I think that texture helps you get a lot more spin on cuts and stuff like that. And then the thickness of the material helps the ball sit on the net. And so when the ball's sitting, it's not really gonna pocket as dramatically. And we kind of noticed that in the gameplay, we didn't really see a lot of side pockets um, in our, in our uh, serving or in our spiking. So that was interesting. I think something else that helped out with the pockets is the net material. So like I said earlier, the net on this thing is pretty thick um, when compared to Bruh. a regular spike ball pro set. And I think that net thickness also helped reduce some of that pocketing. Um, and again, with that thick net and with the thickness of the ball, we noticed it, it was a little bit more bouncy. So the ball was coming off the net with a little bit more speed, even though there wasn't as many pockets. Now, one thing I was kind of worried about going into trying out the zero bounce set was the legs. See the thickness of the leg there? And that's compared to the spike ball pro leg here. You got the spike ball leg. It's pretty thick compared to the zero bounds leg. So one thing we were worried about was that the net might be a little bit more flimsy or more likely uh, to move around and stuff like that. But when we were playing, we didn't notice any of those things. We didn't really see that the net was flimsy. It's, pretty sturdy and we didn't think the thickness of the legs affected gameplay very much. And like I said in the unboxing, um, the rims are the same exact size as the Pro Set and I think that's what really uh, affects ball trajectory and the sturdiness of the set is the thickness of the rims. I don't think the legs have that much to do with it. I definitely think that the Zero Bound Set is able to compete with the Spike Ball Pro Set and the ball's a little bit different, the net's a little bit different, which makes it a little interesting. Um, and I definitely think there's some pros and cons to that. So I, I would definitely advise you to pick up a Zero Bounds set and check it out for yourself. Zero Bounds, the website is linked in the description below, like I already said. So go check out Zero Bounds, go check out their website. They put on tournaments and stuff in the UK, which is really cool. So definitely go check out their site. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a full highlight video from the gameplay on the Zero Bound set. That was just a little snippet that I played earlier, but I have the full highlight video linked below. And then also I have some other videos on this channel of just some highlights and stuff like that. So go check those out as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.